What's going on in Herman is that the basis of his musical language is tonality and uh, tonality where you have, you know, always logical resolutions, not always, I mean, they're obviously a good deal uh, more complicated than that, but where tonality basically implies resolution, right? And tonality has certain elements to it um, that lead towards these resolutions. Now, one of the most common sounds you hear in tonality is the so-called interval of the third, which would sound like this as a minor third and like this as a major third. And uh, you hear this, for instance, in the opening of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. But rather than move towards some kind of resolution that gives us a sense of rest, of respite, of comfort, of uh, we finally wrapped everything up, Herman tends to use the thirds in parallel series. So if Herman had written Beethoven's Fifth, it would have sounded more like this. score for Brian De Palma's sister. Now, this is not going anywhere. This is not going towards a, a resolution. It is just sort of remaining static. It is remaining suspenseful. It is uh, not giving, getting you towards a point of rest. A good example of this use of parallel thirds can be heard, for instance, in this kind of suspense music that Herman did for Hitchcock's The Man Who Knew Too Much. And what's important about this is not that it, it is revolutionizing musical language, but it's revolutionizing to a certain degree the relationship uh, of music to the visual image. Because Herman, I think, realized more, more than almost any other composer that uh, if you use the standard rhythms and uh, structures of music, that they're going to work against the cinematic flow. Herman uses very short uh, cells of musical meanings that he can really play with almost at will uh, with respect to the cinematic image and not have it interfere.